Welcome to the Pauper Gauntlet brought to you by mtgotickets.com. Check them out. Check the link in the show notes. Also by you, the patrons at patreon.com slash That's how we keep this channel going. I'm doing this full time and I hope that you will support my project. And if you want me to spend my time playing Magic, please support the Patreon at Magic. Otherwise I have to do other YouTube stuff. Anyway. I am now playing Slivers in round three of the Pauper Gauntlet. Slivers, hosting a new match. And I'm up against Slash One. Hi Slash One, good luck. This is what happens every time I play Slivers. Okay, this deck is not hard to mulligan with. It's mulligan it mulligans horribly. You really have to find your things. 22 lands, this is a mulligan. Should do better after with the new rule. Okay, now at least I have stuff to play, so I'm gonna keep this. Do I want another play to sleeve? I think I want to resolve Hive Stirrings. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom. And here is Sidewinder. And then we have Spinneret, and then we have nothing. And it's Burn! Interesting. We should be able to just kill Burn, actually. But a Lord here would help quite a bit. But we have 12 Lords. Mana Morphose. into some burn I do expect that curse of the pierced heart but I have plenty of damage too that wasn't good But still, I'm bolting him now for free. And resolving these guys. So this will be violent. Why is Westwood to protect the Lord or to finish the game? Well, this will not be a long match. Kill the Marauders. So they will be blocking nicely for a turn. Do I use the Wines of Westwood to actually kill them? No, I'm just gonna block with a sliver. Okay, I'll, I'll trade Spinneret for it. Do I want to kill it? Swing with two. Play the Wines of Westwood. How fast is my clock? Five. Oh, his clock is definitely faster. I have to deal with the Keldor Marauders. So I'm attacking with three and I'm using the Wines of Westwood to protect myself this way from the full wrath of the Keldor Marauders. I think that's correct. And of course he could very well raise me here. Okay, I don't need to stop in his upkeep. That's some relic from another match. Another Marauders. They are indeed good at blocking. 
Now a Lord would be the perfect top deck. And it is not unlikely, it's about 1 in 4th that I draw a Lord. 1 in 4. So let's draw a Lord, I might be dead next turn. But if I draw a Lord, he is dead next turn. 6. Uh, attacking for 4 now and losing a sliver is probably not worth it. So I'm just gonna play the stirrings and not attack. I get in 4 damage, 3 damage, no 4 damage, get him to 9. Next turn I hit him for 6, it still takes 3 turns. Not attacking seems crazy. But this is... It's still a two turn clock. Not if he blocks with the fire slinger. Do I want to lose two slivers? Okay, let's think about this. Swing, hit him for four, get him to nine, which means a lord is lethal next turn. Is a lord lethal if I don't attack? It isn't. So okay, I will attack. We lose the flanking sliver. And lose another sliver. So a lord is very barely lethal, it's actually not lethal if he blocks with the fire slinger. I think he's got this one. His hand is definitely not just mountains. Oh, not the marauders. Yeah, marauders is probably his best card against me. Oh, tapping the fire slinger seems crazy. I have to block. Yeah, now we need a miracle. There's the Lord. So can we even survive here? And we can't, he's just doing 3 damage to us, so it's over. We do... Yeah, this doesn't work. Yeah, we're gone. I thought I could raise that, but he had the not kill the Marauders draw. So let's look at the sideboard. Burn. Add Standard Bearer. Add Prismatic Strands. Take out Spinneret. Take out a Sentinel. Take out a Verlant. I don't agree with that. And take out three Hive Stirrings. I would keep the Verlant. Yeah. Does Prismatic Strand actually do what we want it to do? I think it does. Yeah, prevent all damage from red sources. 
Oh my god, this is sweet. Play a lord every turn. Don't have any sideboard cards and have too many lands, but I think a lord every turn is good enough anyway. And plated sliver is a great bonus here. I have high hopes this time. Oh, he does target the predatory sliver. That surprised me, but he's going after the lords. Which could be correct. I couldn't play differently anyway, so. He does kill another lord, but that's burn spells not going to my face. And now I can even protect the Lord. Which will be amazing. And so the beatdown begins. That's nice. And that's of course a pretty good draw. Now they're out of bolt range. And I'm doing nine a turn. And Keldom Marauders is just the speed bump. We could double block with the fire slinger, which would be interesting. Hopefully I draw a sliver. I have 31 plus hive stirrings, 35. I did sideboard them out though. Rift ball does enter the exile zone. There is a lava spike, but I'm at 16, so I don't care. No blocks. Let's pull another lord. We don't. But we swing for nine. And that is pretty decisive. So he's definitely going for lord here. But he has to double bolt it. And that's naturally his demise. No, he targets me. Is there any chance he can do 12 here? No. 11 he could, he could do, like Bolt, Bolt, Fire Blast. But we win that one. And time for the last one. Let's get another hand like that. Brennan submitted this deck. Thank you, Brennan. And thank you for all your great work with the podcast. And the content management. Brennan, you're the guy. Uh-oh. This is, of course, horrible. 
And I'm playing a muscle sliver and then I'm not doing anything. He's mulliganing. To six. Let's see if he mentions mulligans. I think I can afford a mulligan here. How many chances do I have of drawing white mana? 13. That means that it will take me on the average four turns to do so. And by that time I will be dead. So I will mulligan. And this one is even worse. But this time I get the square. I have two chances to draw it. He mulligans to five. I will keep this. And of course scry away anything that's not a land. He's at five cards, so I have the time here. Uh, me too. Why isn't there a lifelink sliver? If it goes to four, I think I win. I'm keeping this because I get the scry. I am on the draw. I will see four cards by turn three. But it is intense. It will not be over soon if you can't decide. Burn, of course, mulligans even worse than this deck does. So you must have a no lander to consider a mulligan here. I will put that on top. And go white over him. He did go to... No, he has five cards. Uh, I'll put a chat up so I can talk to him afterwards when the match disappears. Okay, let's win this for Brennan. I'm just gonna go sign you here, or maybe not, maybe cast the sentinel because he will be eager to use his removal for my creatures. And he can't take a sentinel beating him down either. So I'm gonna play sentinel. But the chances I was talking about was the... Sh oh, he's bolting me! And of course, he will not bolt that thing. So I think it's Sentinel here. Or is it Sino? Okay, I want to force a bolt. No, I play Sentinel. And then sign you. So I have something that can punch through Kaldo Marauder. Like getting stuck with that card in hand with one land, that's that's pretty bad. That's why I don't think Manamorphose belongs in Burn. Rift Bolt has been exiled. Here's a Chain Lightning targeting me. So now he has spent two cards on me. I cannot deal with the sliver, so now it's safe to cast a low. Oh, look at that. Verlant. Sign you. And I think it's a win for Team Sliver. Yeah, this he cannot deal with. He will kill Sign you, of course, but still doing. 
four plus um, poison counters. I've only played it once in this season at least. Healing to that. No, he will die by damage long before he dies. To poison. So that's not why Burland Sliver is there. Oh, it is, it is because of that, but um, he is mostly just a one drop. This will surely hit the Sinus Liver, anything else would be a mistake. Because he just dies in two turns if he doesn't. Three more cards. One is a land. That's not what you want. Team Sliver looking good. Oh, 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 oh. If you choose Team Sliver, you choose the right team. He's dead next turn. Well, he is. if he gets rid of the Predator Sliver, he's not dead next turn. But the turn after that, he is dead. And even with double Fire Blast, it won't get him anywhere. He has to kill the predatory sliver. Yeah, he's just getting me down as low as possible to show that he can. And this is the end for you. Go Team Sliver! Gonna advertise for the proper gauntlet. Okay, thank you for watching. Slivers in round four of the Pauper Gauntlet.